Alright, hello out there and welcome back to another ATS video with me, Justice Fist. Thanks for joining me, guys. This is going to be an ATS truck mod video. As you can see, we have the Max Superliner. Look at this thing, man. Just look at it. It's beautiful, man. I love the classic look of this truck. And I went with sort of a classic coloring. It's like a sort of a orangish brown, straight out of like the 70s, right? Uh, it's it's too bad it's, this is going to be kind of a night run. You, you can't like fully see how brilliant this coloring is. But I love that big chrome grill, man. Those, those big, gnarly, straight exhaust pipes, chromed out. Those big, um, what are those? I guess those are air filters, right? For the intakes for the engine on the, on the sides of the hood there. I love that, man. And sort of the rounded lines underneath the doors and stuff. Like, awesome. Anyway, we're uh, hauling some large tubing. What is that, 33 tons? It's not going very far. Coastline mining, we're bringing it to. Um, it's going to be, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes there. Let's get this thing fired up. And um, so this mod is by. This mod is by. Oh, great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, ah, I, gra I didn't write that info down on this sheet. Great. Okay. Well, I don't know who this mod's by, <laughs> but whoever did it did an amazing job. And I hate the fact that I don't have—I can't give them credit for this because this is awesome. And I have the most respect for guys that that make these mods because honestly, I mean, what's in it for them, man? You know? And like they share it with ev with all the ATS fans for free, man. It doesn't cost you a cent. I mean, I don't know what's in it for them. Um, I guess what's in it for them is what's in it for me uh, doing these videos right now. Uh, just just a love of doing it and wanting to share uh, with people and sort of network with uh, people who share the same interests, I guess, because really. Um, and that's why um, that's why I don't... Uh, like mods that I, that I find aren't, aren't very well uh, done, uh, that I can't play with for very long, uh, just... Um, I just don't feature them on my channel because I don't, I don't want to sit there... Like if I don't have anything nice to say, I would rather just not say anything at all because you know, anytime you, you you're playing with one of these mods, you got to think of who who made this and and how much time and effort did they put into it, you know? And and if it's not great, I mean, you know, the time it doesn't change the fact that the time and effort was put was there put it, put there, you know, e even if the mod's not very good, and um and the fact that they they're sharing it with us for free, I mean. It just doesn't feel right for me to, to complain. Now, sometimes, you know, I'll bring mods, there, there are some problems with them, and I'm going to be honest with you and, and share that with you, uh, obviously. But if, if the mods on my channel, it's good enough, uh, it's good enough for me to play with for, for hours at least, if not more. Now, this one I've been playing with quite a bit, I mean, and it's a bit funny because I don't usually like to play with uh, low-tech trucks like this. Like, I like to have my onboard computer because I play manual transmission with a gamepad. Um, it's difficult to count gears, especially uh, when you're doing a commentary and trying to drive like I am now. But I've been playing so much ATS lately that um, it's sort of becoming second nature. I'm not even really thinking about it. It's just sort of happening in the back of my mind. Well, you're playing too much ATS, Justice. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway, get back on track with this truck mod, man. It looks great. And I love the interior, too. It's as mean and simple as the exterior is. I mean, look at this. This is just bare bones, man. And you really get the feel that this is a classic American rig. And it was designed to do one thing and one thing alone, man. Haul loads, that's it. it we're just real basic in here. You got just just the info you need, man. You got some a few dials. You got a tack and a speedometer. And then you've got your air pressure dials, uh, oil pressure, you know, um, your fuel, engine temperature, stuff like that. Just real basic stuff, man. You know, it's not like a, like a Peterbilt or whatever, where there's a, a thousand little dials everywhere. Who, what? What is half of that stuff even for? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is this is nice, man. I, I love the feel of this. You know, it's just um, it really feels like a classic American big rig. You know, I I, I love this. And again, I, I'm kicking myself for grabbing the wrong sheet here. Okay, well, it's not the wrong sheet. I have some info about Superliner, but. Not um, not the authors, the name of the authors, nor the setup options that I went with, which brings me to my next thing. So I mean, I make these videos like the way that I would like a truck mod video to be, right? So uh, man, so many guys when they're doing a truck mod review, you know, they go in the garage, 
and they start cli and they click on every every option that you have. And I mean, fair enough, you want to know what this truck comes with, but um, boy, that is tedious. That is tedious, man. And they read everything to you. I'm not. I don't do. I don't like to do that. And uh, unfortunately, like I usually write down how the truck is, how I have the truck set up, so that later when I decide to do the video, I have all the info right in front of me. For some reason, I don't have that or the mod author's name. Uh, but suffice to say that this truck is set up for heavy haul. You know, we're pulling in, what is it, an A train we've got? Uh, an A road train? Uh, around here there's three classes, A, B, and C. I forget exactly what distinguishes them apart. If I could be wrong about this, but I think, like, the A train is the uh, the first trailer in in the train is clearly, it's made to be part of the train. Like, it has... Um, a fifth wheel built into it, right? So that the second trailer hooks onto that. Or maybe those are A and B trains, and then the C train, something like that, and then the C train uh, uses a dolly, a fifth wheel dolly. So it, the dolly hooks up to the back of the first trailer, and then you can hook the second trailer onto the dolly kind of thing. Uh, something like that, anyway. And then there's LCVs, which are uh, extra long uh, road trains. Um, but, uh, yeah. And that's my cat howling at me. She wants to go outside. You're going to have to wait. Take a hike, man. Anyway, uh, another thing, uh, like, look at what's happening here. So, okay, the first thing you got to know about this mod is it's, the truck itself is awfully tippy, man. It wants to roll over at highway speed. Look at the way it's sort of like, every time I turn it. Now, mind you, I'm playing with a gamepad, so my actions with the steering wheel are not really smooth. But you can see the way it's sort of, wait sort of, uh, okay, well, it's not doing it right now, but it did it a minute ago. Like, I've rolled this truck over once already with a heavy cargo pack load. <laughs> uh, you have to be careful, man, on the highway. Like, I mean, especially on highways like this where the speed limit is rather high. Be careful, man. Keep your eye on the GPS and watch for corners that look either, like, tight or, like, long, or, like, long corners where you're going to be sustained in... See the way it's, see the way it's doing that? Yeah. Where you're gonna have to sustain a re relatively sharp, even if it's not that sharp. If you have to hold that turn for a bit, you, the truck is gonna start to want to roll over. It's it's really weird. Um, so be careful. <laughs> I'm warning you now, man. I'm warning you now. But um, other than that, it's it would. I don't mind it because it's uh, it's almost kind of more realistic, and certainly it, it's gonna force you to be extra cautious about what you're doing. Watch your speed. Watch the GPS. Watch uh, the corners that are coming up. Um, you know, just uh, watch it in general, man. <laughs> Basically. Uh, just take a sip here. <clears throat> that is delicious. So, yeah, and also, I like the lights on this thing. Look at, they're sort of like got this blue tint to them. It's pretty cool, man. I, I, I've yet to see a truck mod with the, that kind of lighting. That's pretty cool. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't have tons of experience with truck mods, I guess. And the, our bulldog emblem there is kind of translucent almost. You'll see, like, if it ever if uh, it crosses the white line of it. I don't know if it's meant to be glass, or if that was just uh, something that wasn't quite implemented correctly. I don't know. Uh, I just tell myself it's glass. <laughs> it's all good, <laughs> you know. And um, I mean, I don't know the the Mac bulldog, right? I talked about this in in the last uh, Mac video I did on the Ultraliner. Yeah, see, look at the way the truck kind of wobbles. It's weird. It's weird, man. Be careful, Justice. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. You gotta watch these high speed limits, man. Like the the highways that are 55, you're okay. I find in in general, but once you're over that, if you're doing 70, 80 or more, be careful, man. Keep an eye on that GPS. Do yourself a favor. Take it from me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. The Mac Bulldog, right? If you didn't see my Mac Ultra Lighter video and you don't know what the Mac Bulldog is all about, I thought it was the coolest thing. I had no idea either. Uh, but apparently it comes uh, from the First World War, British soldiers, uh, you know, the British Bulldog, right? Um, uh, when uh, Mack trucks would bring up supplies and stuff, they called them their little Bulldogs. Um, and so I think in 1922, uh, the manufacturers uh, made made the Bulldog their corporate logo because of that. It, it comes from World War One. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Very cool. Very cool. I love that little bit of info on Mac. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, again, Mac's been 
they were in world uh, their trucks were uh, you know world war one they were world war two um all through the 50s and 60s even um the, the u.s used mac trucks in all kinds of capacities so uh tried tested and true man um Yeah, so the Superliner. Um, again, oh man, I want to tell you the specs and what I think, but what, I think I might have already just said this. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm all turned around here. But um, anyway, there's enough, there's enough options that come with this. If I didn't just say this already, which I probably did, uh, <laughs> there's enough customization options uh, that come with this. That y you'll be happy. There's a lot of different ways you can set this up. A lot of different colors you can paint it and uh, all kinds of stuff don't worry about that man if you're at all interested check it out now here's here's the main here's a, a big problem at the time I'm recording this we're about a week away from the release of 135 yeah baby are you excited I'm excited 135 we get Washington we get um, forestry equipment cargo pack uh, really looking forward to that but the reason why I'm saying this is because I like to post a link in, the, in my description of where you can download this, but I'm not going to do that. Well, I might. Oh, look at the wobble on that. Man, that freaks me out every time. <coughs> and here I am hauling ass in the, in the, in the fast lane, like, <laughs> get out the way, man. <laughs> uh, I do not want to roll this truck over in the middle of a video. That like, I, Whether or not I know what I'm doing, I like to appear as though I, I do know what I'm doing, you know, so I'd really like to not roll this over. That's not going to slow me down, man. We got deadlines, baby. <laughs> oh, look at... Yeah, except... This is what I'm talking about right here. You see a corner like that? Hit the J-break. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Hit the J-break. Hit the retarder or something, man. Don't chance it. Don't chance it. You, you won't be happy with the results. I'm telling you now. Yeah, boy, my cat will not stop howling at me. She wants outside now. God. Anyway, I need another beer. Thankfully, I anticipated this. I have another one right here. Ah, I hope you guys don't mind the sound of me drinking. Okay, you want to hear one of my favorite sounds? if you'll hear this in the microphone. Yeah, he did. I love cruise control for that. Hit the cruise control, pause the track IR, and open that fresh, frosty beer, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he did. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, what was I talking about? What the hell was I just talking about? The problem is, I'm recording this video right after work, too, so I'm, I'm, I'm quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> My commentary is going to be lacking here a little bit. I apologize. I've already screwed up half of it. I lost my part of my info sheet here. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, one three five is coming out soon. It's the time I'm recording this, we're about a week away. About the time I post this, it will be well after the release of one three five. I would imagine the way it's been going. Oh man. Yeah. So there may or may not be a link in the description where you can download this. If I find one. Uh, that's been updated for 135 and, and DirectX 11. I will post it in the description. If not, just be patient. Keep an eye out for it. I'm sure this will be updated because this one, as far as I know, this one's been around for a while and it's a fan favorite for sure. I've seen it in many other videos. Um, so, yeah, just keep an eye out for it, man. I'm sure I'm sure it'll get updated. and I'm interested to see, too, what DirectX 11 is going to do for uh, like performance-wise. Uh, stuff like that. Um, I mean, I have a relatively fast machine to begin with, so I don't really expect. Like, I don't really understand the, the whole DirectX, well, what it all does. I'm not. But uh, anyway, DX11 is coming. Woohoo! I guess <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that's something I should be excited about or not. I don't know. Anyway, keep it between the lines, Justice Jesus. Look at that! Whoa! got another corner like these corners are hard to judge it's like should I slow down or should I just chance it and 
and it's exactly something like that that I rolled it on the other night. Like I said, I had a heavy cargo back. I find the heavier your load is, the more tippy it's going to be. But like I said, it's that's pretty realistic, right? Like the the physics on this truck are, are pretty are pretty good, man. Like it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're not uh, well. Not really going to notice it here because we're on the highway. But maybe when we get into the city, you'll see the way it sort of dips and bobs a little bit, which I really like. <clears throat> I think it's pretty cool. So yeah. <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't just I can't just tuck in behind this guy and be happy. No. No, you you you're doing a couple miles an hour under the speed limit. I'm not okay with that, man. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> I don't usually put uh, like the the nose mirrors. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? And it doesn't help that it, like it makes me nervous too. I get all nervous and twitchy with the controls. That does not help. <clears throat> it does not help at all. And I do like the uh, the sound of the uh, the air brakes on this too. They have a little extra something there, you know. Like it sounds like an older truck. Like she's well she's well broken in, bud. <laughs> yeah. I do love that, and yeah, yeah, the nose mirrors. I don't usually put uh, nose mirrors on uh, on my trucks. I think they look stupid, but I don't know, man. They just fit this one. They just fit this one so good. I just, uh, yeah, put them on there. Yeah, I did. Am I using them? Not really. It's more aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, they're there if I decide to use them. So, okay, so I don't have the name of the author or how I have this thing set up. I do have part of the info sheet here. I took down a little bit of info about the Superliner. <clears throat> um, and uh, keeping in mind, this is just from Wikipedia. Uh, this is just for fun, man. I'm not writing in, writing an, an academic paper here, um, <clears throat> which I could. I do have a degree, not to brag. Well, actually, I'm not bragging because it's a degree in history. It does nothing for me. I'm a heavy equipment operator, so... <laughs> but I can tell you all about... How never to use Wikipedia as a good source for <laughs> information, but anyway, just for fun. Just for fun, uh, Wikipedia tells me that uh, the Superliner uh, replaced the Mac R W. Mac R W. So the Mac R Western. Uh, uh, the first Superliner was made in '77, uh, and they were discontinued in '89. So now, I don't know what model year this one is, but I would imagine it's closer to 77, right? Like, th this guy looks old. Uh, which is what I love about it so much, actually. Just <laughs> classic big rig, I love it. So, 77 to 89. But, <clears throat> oh, Australia, Australia. Australia is a weird place for trucking. You ever notice that? Like, they use equally, like, uh, American uh, trucks and and European cab overs. Like, it's a weird mix. They, they, they're not, they don't discriminate, man. They use them both. And, and they have a whole bunch of trucks that are just made for Australia. You know what I mean? Like, you can't get them over here. But Australia? Yeah, baby. Australia is, like, an interesting place as far as trucking goes. Definitely. Yes, yes, I've seen Outback truckers. Yes. <laughs> uh... One of my guilty pleasures. But anyway, so yeah, so the the Superliner is still made in Australia, but it's not this. It's not like a Class Eight, like real heavy duty rig. It's uh, according to uh, Wikipedia here. It's it's sort of a um, the Superliner currently is a lighter duty version of the Mac Titan. So, uh, but but they're still uh, apparently making Mac Superliners out there. So, um, it's also important to note that there was a Mac Superliner two. Uh, the model year for that was 85, so they came out in 84. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure why that's really significant. I guess I guess in 85 we went from Superliner to Superliner 2, maybe? They don't really, um, they don't really expand too much on, on that. Uh, but, uh, so there was a Superliner and a Superliner 2. And <clears throat> we're going to get a nice sun, sunrise here. This is good. I like this. Very nice drink to that. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah and, and something else I wanted to say about Mac, which brings up a whole other sort of conversation about Mac. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> Still uh, fighting a bit of a cold here, but um, so <clears throat> the thing about Mac here is that it was bought by Volvo, um, and so, and so was Renault bought by Volvo uh, in, in 2000, and um, this is important because. Here's the thing, like at least where I live here in Canada, um, like when I was a kid growing up, Mac was synonymous to like semi trucks. Does that make any sense? Explain justice. Okay, so like if you were to say, you know, uh, now we call them, you know, semi trucks, tractor trailers, big rigs, right? You know what I'm talking about. Well, when I was a kid, a lot of people would say a Mac truck, and right away you knew they meant semi truck, big rig tractor trailer like the name Mac was you could say Mac truck that meant a semi truck of any type right but these days you don't see like at least around here where I live in Canada and I know that like, it would be probably a very different thing in the US and in Australia oh, you guys got all kinds of weird stuff going on over there I don't even know what to say about that <laughs> um, but <laughs> here in Canada you don't see a lot of Mac semi trucks anymore you just don't the only the only thing you see a lot of uh, Mac still like heavily involved with, actually almost exclusively Mac, oddly enough, uh, are ready mix trucks. If you're not familiar with ready mix trucks, I'm, I'm talking about a cement truck. Uh, around here we call them uh, ready mix trucks because I mean, it's ready mix cement. It's mixed along. It's mixed on the way, man. It's ready to go. You just pour it and. <laughs> so yeah, cement trucks, ready mix trucks. They're all Macs basically. Well, not all of them, but. It's pretty rare to see a ready mix truck that's not a Mac around here, but that's it. <coughs> you might see the odd dump truck. I see the odd Mac dump truck around here, but um, they're old, man. They're old. They're from they're from the the heyday of Mac when like every other big truck was a Mac truck. Uh, you can tell the look at them is like, ooh, <laughs> that sucker's old, yeah, uh, yeah. And I never, I never really thought about it. Well, I, I, I've always wondered why, and I just never, never really realized until I started making these videos and I came across this. Oh, Volvo bought them. Wow. And that, I mean, and, and thinking and considering that, you know, Mac was sort of, at least around here, synonymous to to semi trucks and big rigs and stuff. Imagine the price tag on that. I would love to see the dollar amount figure for that. What did they pay to buy Mac? Well, I mean, and Renault, but I don't know, I don't know anything about Renault, uh, you know, that's, a, that's those are European trucks, right? You will never, you will never, I can guarantee you will never see a Renault around where I live, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen one. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't know how big Renault was or what they would have paid for that, but, but for Mac alone, Unless Mac really wanted out really badly and gave him a wicked deal, but I don't know, man. Yeah, Mac is owned by Volvo. And weirdly enough, at least around here, like if you're just looking around at what you see on the road, it's like it's like Volvo bought Mac and, and they pushed out their semi-trucks and their dump trucks and replaced them with their own Volvos, but they left the cement trucks, the ready mix trucks, they left that to Mac. They were like, eh. Yeah, no, we'll just, we'll leave, we'll leave the Mac, the, the Mac uh, emblem on those trucks and, and they will look like, they will look like Macs. Um, yeah, look like, look nothing like a Volvo. <laughs> uh, it's weird. It's weird. But, uh, hey, yeah, I would, I would love to see the dollar amount of that. That would just be astronomical, I would imagine. You know? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. Crazy. Yeah, and so you're probably... Yeah, like I said, I don't... This is... There's not too many trucks that'll bring to my channel that are really low-tech like this. But, um... I just feel like this one's just got that feel. It's just got... It just... It feels right, baby. Yeah, it does. It tickles me just, just beautifully. Yep, it really does. Uh, I love this one, man. This one's, 
this one's staying in my library for sure. I love the simplicity of it. And then, well, you know, I like these big, boxy, old-school big rigs. But not always. It depends. It depends. I, I don't know what it is about this one that just... I really like it. If you see... If I, if I don't have a link posted in the description, keep an eye out for this one if you haven't tried it. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, we got this beauty sunrise going on. I always wondered why you couldn't you can't put your uh, sun visor down. I mean, I guess it's not as blinding as it would be in real life, but it's... Actually, I kind of like the way this, the lighting effect streaks in through those windows there. It's got the smoker's windows, eh? Those little windows, you you, f you turn the handle and open it so you can flick your cigarette. That's a... Uh, yeah. Maybe that's not what they're for. I always assume they're smoker's windows, man. You only see them on old trucks. Old trucks that have ashtrays in them. You know, it's a, uh, nothing comes with an ashtray in it anymore. Yeah. Wasn't always a thing. But then neither were uh, electric windows or any of that crap. So. We've all gotten awfully soft, haven't we? Huh? You can't smoke. You don't need to crank the window now. You're going to use the electric button. Hope it doesn't break. Because then you're screwed. At least with the crank. If the crank broke, you could take a pair of vice grips and clip them on. <laughs> clip them on and still crank the window down, you know? Yeah, it's the world we live in, I guess. So I can slow this thing down. Coastline mining. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Fantastic. What a beaut. Yeah, I just love this truck. I love this giant steering wheel, too. This giant bare bones steering wheel. Like, look at that thing, eh? There's no airbag in that. And. You also, you don't want to bust your head on it if you rear end somebody or something. Oh, yeah. That'll leave a mark. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> uh. oh, I love this beer, too. Ah, oh, delicious. All right, there we, here we are, man. Let's wrap this one up. Yeah, if you're a fan of classic rigs, man, Check this one out. This is awesome. I love this thing. Really do. Now, what are we going to be dealing with here? Ah, I love the entrances to these coastline mining things. They're just awesome. When you have a really long load. Um, uh, abort, abort. I'm going in the out lane. Maybe not the smartest choice, but I don't know. Something came over me there. Oh, at least we're going to park it dead ahead. That's good. That's good. Nice and easy. Okay, we got her in line. We got her, man. We got her. Maybe that was a good decision. Coming in the out lane. <laughs> in through the out lane, baby. That's how we do it here in Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy and in line. I don't want to have to reverse this dumb thing, especially because it was straight in. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Perfect, man. Ha ha. Squeaky clean run. We didn't roll over the truck. That's awesome. Yep. Hook those trailers. Let's get paid. Got to get paid, baby. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. All right. <coughs> so that is the Max Superliner. Awesome classic truck. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.